In this video, we are going to understand as to how do you calculate the HCF or the highest common factor and the LCM highest common factor or HCF and the least common multiple through prime factorization. Let us say you have two numbers and you are told to find HCF and LCM of 12 and 30. Okay? Now, what do you do? You first find out the prime factors of these numbers. So 12 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 or 2 square into 3. 3 can be written as 3 to the power 1. 30 can be written as 2 into 3 into 5 or 2 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 1 into 5. So because you are doing this through the prime factorization method, what you need to do is, you need to put in this composite number as it would appear if it were to be distributed in its prime and then put in the values of the powers and simplify it. Now once this is done, then you need to find out the highest common factor. So when you have to do this, what do you do? You find out common factors. So which are the common factors here? The common factors are two. Two appears in both these numbers. Okay, 3 appears in both the numbers. So the common factor is 2 into 3. This has to be a multiple sign because multiple is what is being used here. Okay. Now you also see as to what are the powers of these numbers. So here the power of 2, let's say 2 if you were looking at 2, the power of 2 in 12 is 2. And power of 2 in 30 is 1. Right? Look here. Power of 2 is 2 insofar as 12 is concerned. And 1 insofar as 30 is concerned. You take these two numbers and then you take the least of these numbers. So you put in least is 1. So you put in 1 here. Again for 3, for 3 actually both the numbers have power of 1 only. So the least also is going to be 1. So you put in 1 here. So the highest common factor becomes 2 to the power 1 or 2 into 3 is equal to 6. Now how about the LCM or the least common multiple? To find the LCM, you pull out all the common primes or rather all the primes, not the common primes, all the primes that appear in the factors. So you have 2 which comes here, 3 which comes here and 5 which comes here. Okay, you do a multiplication sign in between. Now, when you did the HCF, you took the least of the power of this common factor. But when you do the LCM, the power that you have to take is the maximum. I mean, let's say for 2, I'll just show it for 2. 2 has a power of 2 and 1. So which is more? 2 is more, so I put in 2 square. 3, both of them are 1, so I put 1. 5, again 1, and 0 here, so I put in 1. When you solve this, 
you get 4 into 3 into 5, which gives you 60. So the LCM of this number, these two numbers is 60. 